we see a birthday cake with candles spelling 50. Rick Dicky Duncan is turning 50. Fade to black. Meh. We see a uh, vinyl playing on a record player. On the eve of this mid-century milestone, he finds himself alone in his mother's Ottawa basement. We see an image of boxes being shoved together, rummaging through the clutter that's made up his dissatisfied life. We see a snow globe containing a little Santa. From the death of Santa, we see someone playing an electric guitar, to the last days of Scottish rot. We see someone adjusting a very old 1970s radio. Rick meanders through the decades, mapping his existence amid the pop culture of the 70s to the present day. The image shifts to someone shooting scenes from a car on a Super 8. The image shifts to a pile of boxes, reminding himself that this journey is a love story. We see that a man is stuck under the pile of boxes. Sort of. Fade to black. Heartwarming and heartbreaking, nostalgic and hilarious, often at all the same time. John Haas, award-winning author of The Reluctant Barbarian. This novel is fantastic. Reminiscent of John Irving, this is a novel with heart and humor, and its wackiness is utterly charming. Get dissatisfied. Jameson Wolfe, award-winning author of Love and Lemonade. We see the cover. It represents a man in a kilt holding a beer, sitting on a brown couch in a basement with wood paneled walls. Next to him is a box saying Scottish Rot CDs. The title reads Dissatisfied Me, A Love Story. Bruce D. Gordon. Next to the cover, the title and author are repeated, and we also see Pre Order Now and the Renaissance logo.